Just like the official had to believe that God could heal his son, I, I was put in that kind of situation thing with, with my mother. I believe that God healed my mother, and I believe that with all my heart. She ended up in the hospital. She was about to die, right? And I wasn't a Christian during this time, right? And I remember at that point, I said, okay, God, I make a promise, man, to you right now that if you heal my mother, I will follow you. And then my mom got healed. And it took me a while to kind of give my life, life to the Lord, but eventually I, I gave it to him. When I was in jail, God used that, uh, a man to come up to me and give me a little thing called a sinner's prayer, right? And in there, I thought about it for three days while I was in there. And I remember saying the sinner's prayer, falling on my knees, crying like a baby. And there was a big puddle of tears on the bed, right? Where I slept at. And God said, you see that, those tears? That is your, that is your, that is your sin. You've been washed. You've been clean. Get up and tell everybody what I've done for you. And in the same way as, as the official had to go tell his, his, his household, I had to do the same thing, right? The household that, that was part of my family were actually gang members. So I shared the gospel with them. And then one guy looked at me, the second leader of the gang, he said, look, here's the thing. I'm proud of you, I'm glad you did that, but we gotta jump you out because you're not part of us anymore. So do you want us to jump you here at your house, to beat you up here at your house? Or do you want us to beat you up at the park? So they gave me a choice there, right? And I remember telling God, God, I guess if I need to go see you, I guess I'm gonna have to go see you pretty soon. Cause these guys might end up killing me. But I'm down for what I believe now. The same way I've been down for the gang, I'm down for this now. All the way, all the way. And I went to the park and then my friend showed up, the second leader of the gang, right? Showed up and he kept looking at me. He goes, so you believe this Jesus thing is real? I said, yeah, it's real, man. It's real. I'm willing to die for it. And then my friend started crying. And I couldn't figure out why the man was crying. Because that man never cried, even when he shot people. He said, Manuel, I'm proud of you. You're a bigger man than all of us. The fact that you came here and you're here right now tells us that you're a man of your word. You're down for what you believe. And we're so proud of you. And he goes, but here's the thing. Don't disappoint us because we're looking up to you now. If you disappoint us, if we ever see you in gangs again or doing drugs, we're going to kill you. So you talk about accountability, guys, man. Let me tell you, that's some accountability. Let me tell you, big time.